Hello, once again, welcome to Ayotech. I'm delighted to have you back on this channel. I'm going to show you how to create an amazing looking ID card in Word. You don't need any graphic design experience in order to do this. This is basically Word and Excel. So we're going to pick the data for our staff members from Excel. So this is the data we're going to use. So we just have to enter this in Excel, save it as data, save it to any particular place on your desktop or anywhere on your pc and then we can import this in word and then use it to generate our id card automatically so remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming tutorial so let's jump right into action so already we know the id card this is what we're going to create and i'm going to open a new a blank new page so that we start everything from scratch step by step with no step skip okay so this is a new page a blank new page and i'm first going to go into set to layout click on margin then i'll go to custom margins and then i'll change both top button left and right to 0 0.5 so that is what i'll do 0 0.5 i think that is enough i'll be okay with that margin so i'll stick to that for both sides so i just click on okay and the next thing we're going to do is now we know we have 10 records so we're going to create 10 columns for 10 spaces to for this id card for each member okay so all we need to do is let's go back and insert a table so go to insert tab go to tables and then we we'll select what two columns and then five rows making 10 so let's select the entire table now and then we increase the margin a bit so we can also improve go to the layout and then i'm going to change the margin to the height of my column i'm going to change that one to then 3.2 will be okay 3.2 be okay and that is okay and then the next thing we need to do is that if you check our final work i um, place some rectangular shape before i place the image on it so we just have to go to shapes and set go to shapes click on shape and then we pick a rectangular shape and then we just draw it on top of the head like this okay and then we just have to give it a background color so we'll go to shape style select that and then pick a color we want so i think i'll stick with the ash color for now and then we will need to now bring our shape so if you realize that the final distance we place the image within a nice shape so i'll just go back to insert and then shapes and then pick what an oval shape hold down shift whilst you drag it in order to have a perfect shape at the top over here so let's position this at the top and then i don't want a fill color i just want a border around it so i'll just select something like this or maybe even ash this way so this is perfectly taking shape the next thing we need to do is realize the finance work i have over here i place my logo beside it so if your company logo you want to place it you can do that so you go to insert go to pictures and then you select pictures anywhere you have it on your pc and i think i have my logo somewhere here this is my logo and i'll just double click on it so i have my logo here and it appears to be below my right tab so in order to do that modification with my logo selected i'll go to what the wrap text select that and go to in front of text and then it will move my logo up in front of my right tab so i just have to resize this by dragging it inside and find where i want to position it can either be here or at the left hand side any of them is going to work okay so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to come down here and per the records we have in excel we have staff id name rule and the department we're going to type that over here for this one we'll do it manually so we're going to have staff id name row and then what department okay so this is what we have and i'm just going to bold, bolden this a bit i'll apply a bit of bold text to it change uh, change it to double line spacing and make it bold okay so this is what we have up to this stage the rest will be for us to duplicate this template for the rest of the remaining nine columns we don't need to do this for all that is one of the amazing thing you need to know if you have 20 and even 100 you just have to use this process so take note of this very carefully subscribe as well so you don't miss any of 
or upcoming tutorial so let's see how we're going to do this we'll go to the mailing stop the mailing stop click on that and go to what staff mail start mailing mail. so i'll click on that and go to labels when i click on labels we just have to stick to the default settings and go to ok click on ok again and just go to what update the update tab will appear i just click on that and see what's going to happen that is so amazing so it has filled the remaining of our column with the template we've created okay if you enjoyed this video remember to hit the like button so now we have everything set up are we going to type every individual names here no we're not going to do that we already have this information in excel save with department and everything so how do we import this record and make them appear to every staff member here how can we do that in order to do that all we have to what we need to do here is that so at this stage all we need to do is that we know we need at this stage all we need to do is that the data we have at in our excel file we're going to import it and then every individual details will be added to this record for us perfect and we don't need to type them manually so in order to do this we go to the same start mailing merge and go to a select recipients and we go to use existing list we have this list already created and i save it as data and this is on my desktop so i'm going to look for that file on my desktop so this is it i have this record that's the data i'll just select that and then open this and then this is my file i'll just click on ok and let's see what is going to happen from here so this is the staff id so i'll go to the insert image i'll click on that you can see we have staff id i'll just insert that i can just move this forward a bit i'll come to the name column i'll go back to insert go to the name and then it will appear this way don't be bothered about how it's appearing i'll show you how to go about this we'll go back to what and then go to the rule of the person and then the last part is you go to what department okay you can see we have the department over there that is all we need now so we all we need to do is let's go ahead and then update what labels we click on update and you can see that it appeared for every cell again so now we need to generate every record so if you come to our so far you can see that we have the names the first one is john Penn manager and he's at the department administration we have set pin hr admin we have procurement officer then we have max Sam. we have timothy sky it matthew a also at procurement so we want to make that appear over here so we can see we have preview results over here we can go ahead and then click on preview and see so you can see everything appears so the first one over here, you can see the first one we have what john Payne manager rule and then it's at administration we have the second staff which is set pin at hr also administration we come to mark sam procurement procurement department we have number four here timothy at the rule is it also at id department so that is check the staff id 004 if you come to our excel file if you check 004 over here that's what timothy sky okay so that is the same thing we have a while so this shows that everything is working up to this stage so you have thousands of staff members you can use this process to generate these ids for them so now that we have this stage we can't if you have the image the pictures of these staff members you can just add them manually but it's also a way to do it automated and subscribe so i do a video on that maybe my next two or three videos will be on that and i'll show you how you can automate that part so by this tomorrow we can just add those pictures so just click on the shapes we add and then just go to what just go to format and then under shape style you go to fill and under fill we select picture and then you can select the picture you want to use so i think i have some pictures on my desktop i'm going to use for this i have a picture and then I have a folder called team i have some pictures that i will use so i'll just open this and i'll use my picture for that you can see automatically to fill that and i'll go back again so in case you have pictures for the individual members you can use their pictures to do that in this case i'm going to use my pictures for and those that have their pictures i'll just fix their pictures over there then this will make everything look very simple so i'll go back and select my picture stage i'll just use my pictures to fill those vacants 
positions for now go back again select picture select the multi again and use it to fill i think okay this one too i don't have his picture so i'll use the same picture and i'll fill that place again so you can see how this is going to be very simple for you to do and then for felix it i have his picture so i'll just import his picture here and this picture is here i'll just insert this picture there so you can see everything will fill that place and vida i have by this pictures i have by that picture as well so i'm just going to add that one so you can see i have ophelia i have a picture as well so i'm just going to go ahead and then add a picture so this is very unique way to go about this and you don't need any it i think i have christian's picture as well christian have his picture so this is a very unique way to go out about this you don't need to struggle with that so add those pictures and the last one emmanuel i have his picture as well so i'm going to select his picture again and then add it so this is emmanuel and that is it so you can see we've been able to generate this id card in Word. we don't have to type everything manual and this will use amazing trick to do this so thank you so much for enjoying this tutorial subscribe so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos i'll show you how to meet this later on and another video just subscribe and stay alert stay tuned yeah i have a lot for you on this channel like come your way another time bye bye